What is going on, aggressively average anglers? Today we've got a garage sale sack to unsack. I never like, you know what, whatever. We're opening this bag of goodies from Sixth Sense. I'm really excited about it. I look forward to this bag in particular, like every single year, they usually drop it around this time. By the time we drop this video, I don't know if there will be any left, so go check it out. Go to Sixth Sense Fishing, see if you can grab one while you can. They're 99 bucks, but I mean, look at that thing is hefty so we'll see what's in this bag of goodies in just a second of course as always if you like the content subscribe smash the like ring the notification bell all that stuff what's more important though is that we just dropped our new podcast we are going live on wednesdays 8 p.m eastern i would love to see you guys there and talk to you in chat we also did a huge giveaway on our first episode but if you missed it we're gonna do giveaways on all our future episodes too so come on by hang out wednesdays at 8 Eastern with us. And the podcast is all about learning new techniques, getting better at things you suck at. It's for the aggressively average angler in you, because that's what we describe ourselves as. We're not going pro. We're definitely not noobs, or we don't want to be noobs, at least in many of these categories. So we're getting better in them. We're calling the experts, we're doing the research, and then we're getting on the water and testing all that stuff out. And I'm excited to see where the show goes in the future. So be a part of it. Love you guys. Love to see you there. Let's get to this bag. I have been jonesing for a look inside of this bag. I have not even peeked yet. I haven't taken it out. Uh, I can feel there's something gigantic right at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's a draw and uh, that is amazing. So we're going to see if the value holds up. 99 bucks. What do we get? I'm dumping it. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Oh, we're gonna have to look at this later. I knew it. Oh my, oh my gosh, dude. There's so much going on in here. Okay, I see already one duplicate that I have, but that's okay. It means I'll throw it in a giveaway for you guys. Some new stuff, some old stuff, some good stuff, some great stuff. All right, oh my God, 20. There are 21 items in this pack. So I think the value is gonna be there for sure. 21 times, even if they're five bucks, we just won. So there's a ton of value in here. Let's see what we get. Let's start things off with a bang with the biggest thing in the bag. Check this out, the draw. That's a nine inch glide bait. I have zero, exactly zero glide baits this big. Holy cow. First of all, presentation wise, you almost don't wanna fish it. That is a glorious looking bait. Oh, it's a great color too. This is probably perfect for my waters. Live shiner. Okay, she's... She's in there good. The hooks are gonna be good because uh, they're stabbed into this material. We gotta remove the foam here, hang on. Hopefully I can do this without serious injury. I did it. Oh baby, this thing is awesome. It's gonna have really loud moving action here, but look at this. So detail wise, these things are phenomenal. This is all like a nice cross hatched pattern. Probably helps with the action, look at the tail. Like nice plush tail, but feels pretty durable, is replaceable. You can take those out and replace that. Throw some glue in there, it's not going anywhere. We've got the swivels as well as a split ring on the bottom. And if you guys don't know, I've been learning things as aggressively average anglers definitely should. Uh, and I've been watching like some tactical bass and seminars on swim baits and glide baits. And what this tells me is that a fish is not going to be able to wrap this treble and break your hooks off or bend out your hooks. So that is a good sign. I'm not quite sure what kind of hooks they use on these, but these are very stout hooks. They look pretty solid, like they're going to hold up. And this is a 3.75 ounce glide bait. By no means the biggest glide bait you're going to throw, but to me, gigantic. This is huge. So nine inches, 3.75 ounces. Oh, I love the color. It's like purplish blue up top. We got like the gold into the white belly. I'm excited to give this a shot. I've been learning about glide baits, about swim baits yet to catch a fish on them. We got a bunch back here. I've got a ton in my tackle boxes. I think we go out maybe even today and just put this to the test. See what we can do. I'm gonna figure this out, I promise. While we're on glide bait swim baits, check this out. We got another trace. Now this is the duplicate. I actually have this exact color. This is the bluegill spawn in a slow sink. That's okay though. I would still say like, if you're picking up this bag, there's gonna be value here. That said, since I already have this one, I'm probably going to add it to a giveaway. Now, if you don't know, these come with this little, like a Laztec style tail. It's very stretchy plastic, makes it more durable. And it comes with a spare. Check this out, look at that. So that is what the tail is made of. It, uh, oh, hang on. It used to have this like weird tear 
Like every model I saw, Paul and I both picked them up. It had this weird tear down here. Now it's just kind of indented. So obviously it wasn't supposed to be that way, or maybe that was an earlier iteration, but that's fine. So check this thing out. Nice stretchy tail like that. You've got one, two, three big joints, two of which are mechanical hinges that are gonna be louder, and then one which is a part of that soft plastic tail. So very unique swim bait. And again, I'm gonna keep referencing these guys because that's part of being an aggressively average angler is you learn from the best. So I've watched a few tactical bass in seminars and these are meant to be fished faster. So I'm gonna try this. It is fall. Water temps are dropping. Air temps are definitely dropping. Today is kind of a rainy, cold day. Don't know if I'll have any luck, but bluegill is a great place to start as far as colors if they're feeding up. And I'm gonna go burn this around cover and just go real pause, real pause, and see what happens. I think I can catch something. The bluegill color is phenomenal. Again, you get this like crosshatch grooved pattern there. Very nice. Always love like the eyes as well. Very nice eyes that they use. And this one just comes with a single split ring. These don't swivel, that's okay. Uh, and we've got these nice hooks that I find easier to keep fish pinned to. So I like it. Moving along with big stuff, we got a giant crank here. So this is a 15 foot cloud nine, 15 foot diving cloud nine, 12 to 19 foot, you get it, diver. Tilapia color, which is a pretty good all around color. Don't have to precisely match the hatch around here. I've got a lot of like murkier water. Look at that though. Big fat lip on this thing. Diving pretty deep. Definitely not the not the deepest diver I own. I do have a 25 foot diver or hat. I think I gave it away at some point. <laughs> but there we go. So 12 to 19 feet. Tilapia pattern. I'm digging it. Nice yellow belly to it. Uh, always love the hooks that they're using on these. I think that they hold up pretty well. Look at that red eye to it. Oof. That thing's going to be a killer. Another thing I definitely want to get better at is crankbait fishing. So there's a ton of crankbaits in here. Probably going to be put into the test and I'm excited about it. Next up, I don't have this color, but this is a speed wake. Speed wake, I'm definitely a big fan of. It's one of those wake baits that like truly sits on top. Does a good job. I've caught some big fish on it. Big fan of this color too. Look at this like bluegill. It's like a, it's called bluegill. It's like a high def bluegill. Look at that big bright orange spots there, both sides. Loving the stripes. Big black and blue around the eyes there. A little tracer stripe there on the tail too. I like that. Awesome bait, got the single joint there, straight down, wide lip. It's got some pretty erratic action and it rides up top like wake bait should. This is an awesome bait. Love that, new color for me, so gonna fish it. Still going with like glide swim baits. We've got the hybrid swim crank. I don't think I have this color either. Oh, definitely not in this style. So this is like a sort of more of a wake bait. This is zero to one foot diver. See the lip going straight down. These use that like circuit board lip as well. Just a nice variation. Awesome eyes, a little different variation on the eyes there. I like that. Single joint back here. They are, they got like a, a pretty heavy thud type knock to it. Five eighths of an ounce, 100 millimeter, not a super big size. So if you're wanting to cover some water, throwing like this size is pretty great. I like to throw this. I've also got like the smaller S waiver. Um, and then these come in a glide bait variation as well. So nice translucent body to this. What is this color? Shad burst. Oof, look at that flash. That is awesome. And you get the rear tide treble, which also has that streamer material to it. Fantastic bait. I have, I don't know, probably like a dozen of these. I love fishing these. So when I say I haven't caught a single fish on like a glide bait swim bait, I'm referring to the big boys really, or even like the multi-jointed ones. So I'd say six plus inches not catching anything, but I have caught them on like the smaller models. <laughs> Got the Quake 80 and this is coming in Rambo Red. It's like a blood red Rambo, that makes sense. Guy likes to draw blood, you know? And then there's like a white stripe on this. Now this is the suspending variation of the Quake. So kind of unique. You don't see a lot of liplesses that suspend. Also big flat section here is going to give it some awesome action. Tapered off the back to another flat section. So flat tapered flat these things have great action with this one because it's suspending we're probably going to run it and pause it and it's just going to sit there and it's hopefully getting some fish to follow and then on the pause they have no choice but to crash into it and they're just going to open their mouth and hopefully nom on this thing bright red could be a great fall option so i'm excited to give this a shot also a little bit more of a finessey variation of that treble 
pretty skinny hook there. I like it. Very loud. Oh, and the hooks are very sticky too. That's good. Man, I'm gonna keep moving here. There's a lot of baits. Up next, the Swank 77X. Now the Swank is one of those like L-shaped lip baits. So it's gonna do that like quick dive and then float up, quick dive, float up. You can run it along the surface, it'll go subsurface, and then you can like twitch, pause with this thing, do all sorts of cool stuff. This color is American Shad. I'm liking the variation in colors that we're getting here too. And a lot of these, like I have this bait in a few different colors, but I don't have this one. So it's really nice. Not not just like a re-up, not a refill with this garage sack that you're getting some new stuff that you can try in different variations. Look at that flash on this too. Very loud and rattly, as you guys can tell. More of these straight shank hooks on these. But yeah, these are pretty cool baits. Very fun to fish. Good grief. Okay, this one is new to me. I don't think I have any of these. So this is the Movement L7. This one dives six to eight feet, comes in the 4K Gizzard Shad. That is some high def stuff. So this is a square bill style bait that dives maybe a little bit deeper, definitely has a different action than your normal square bill. So you got this nice, almost like banana style bait body to it. So it's gonna have maybe a little more erratic action. I'm not actually sure, I'm totally guessing. <laughs> but we'll put it on the water and we're gonna find out. Again, those standard like sweet back hooks, love those. Big wide square bill lip, should be very erratic. I'm digging this. This might be something I'm throwing right now as well. Throwing some square bills at the moment. See if we can trigger those strikes. What's this? Oh, the Crush 100S. So this is a silent bait in bone. I can guarantee I don't have this color in my square bill box right now in this size. It's a silent square bill, no rattle to it, no sound. You're looking to trigger reaction strikes based on just the movement of this. Look at that big blue hue up front to that bone color. I love the color. Uh, bone has been like a fantastic producing color for us, especially in like the stained waters that we fish. It's like a muted opaque color that really kind of stands out well. And you get like this cool little gill dot on there too, both sides, I'm digging it. Awesome color, great bait, love it. Can't keep up, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, so we got, this is something I'm throwing right now. Crush flat 75X, so flat side, square bill, in this, oh, is this the Millican? Gillikin, yeah, I was close, whatever. It's the Millican fishing, right? The Gillikin color. So it's this like darker bluegill, which I love for the water that I fish. Great color, great bait. Flat sides are great for spring and fall. So as these water temps drop, easy meal, easy prey, little weak fish, right? I'm digging it. Oh, here's another duplicate. This will go right into a giveaway. That's okay. So for me to get a duplicate, not that surprising, but this is the Munch. If you guys haven't seen this, this would be great this time of year too. It's the super wide square bill with a small, tiny little body. So this is what, 40 millimeters? Yeah, it's just the 40. So pretty small, 7 16ths of an ounce. It's almost half an ounce. So you can cast it a million miles. This comes in my favorite color from Sixth Sense just because it looks so darn cool with those green eyes. And that's Black Magic. Fantastic, you get this big chartreuse stripe there, a little orange up by the lip, opaque lip on the bill. These things are awesome. Much love for the munch. Again, I've got two, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in a giveaway. One of y'all can fish this one, because I already got one. If you guys don't know, something Paul and I do is we keep these totes, and then we fill it up with like baits, hats, even tackle boxes you can see in there, all sorts of funky stuff. If we get duplicates, if we get stuff that we don't fish here in our region, it goes right into this tub, and then we end up throwing it into future giveaways. Moving right along, we got probably a custom color here, I'm assuming, because it has no label on it. And sometimes you get that in the garage sale sack, and that's fine. It gives you something unique. So this is like a bluegill, but it's like a clown. I don't know. <laughs> it's got this red and yellow ketchup and mustardy kind of feel to it. Uh, definitely lots of dark greens and blues. I dig it. I can see this standing out and being something different that maybe nobody's fishing around me. There we go. It's also the Crush 50X. So it's that wide body, standard square, square bill body in that 50 millimeter size. Awesome, love that. Oh, we did get an Axis. I was always wondering. I love these. I've got a few of them. I do not have this color. This looks like Shad Burst it is. Uh, so this is the Axis 2.0. You guys haven't seen the Axis before. It's got this moving lip. And what that does is it actually causes your square bill to move kind of like this. So it's a big, wide erratic action. Big spread on this thing. And look at that. 
That flash is pretty heckin' sweet. It's a good looking bait. You got a nice snap clip on there. These things hold up really well. And uh, we had Justin Royal on, on the podcast a while back, uh, but he was awesome. He talked about these because they had come out pretty recent to the time we had them on the show. And his recommendation, over grass. Fish this over like shallow grass covers. This thing doesn't dive super deep, so you're going like two to four feet, I think. Two to five, sorry. So if you got grass down, like you're fishing this over top of it and you'll get bit. And I tried it and it worked. Go figure, look at that. Oh, here's another good one. So this is black light. Nope, Collins Craw is the color. So this is the Thud 70. So the Thud is more of a hard knock or a one knock versus their Quake, which is gonna have a little more of a rattle to it, right? Here's a Quake. See it? Quake, it's got the rattle as well as the thud. Thud is just the hard knock. And once again, his hooks are sticky. There we go. So Collins Craw is kind of like black magic and it's got the green eyes there. But then you get this white striping pattern. So dark, muddy waters, this is gonna be fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of that around me, so I don't get a, a chance to throw these too often. But if I come across some, you better believe it, I'm gonna be throwing that. We got another Quake, so a bunch of lipless in here, which is good. It's good this time of year. Um, definitely gonna get on some fish, especially with these like reds and oranges. Uh, so this is the Cherry Limeade, which is by the way, one of the best flavors of energy drink you can get. So anything you get energy drink wise, highly recommend Cherry Limeade. Oh, so you get the bright, bright red. Look at that, big dark eyes there. And pow, there's the Limeade, right? So you get that just bright green up top, that is awesome. So I would assume, assuming, right? You yo-yo this thing, you're gonna get this cool like flash from this color that might draw a bite. I dig it. I definitely don't have any colors like this in baits that I have, so I'm excited to try it out. I feel like I'm going fast. This is taking forever. Um, the Hyper Jerk 70. If you guys haven't fished these, I love them. Great variation on your jerk baits. They don't have a lip to them, but they do dive. So they do go down and it's based on the line placement. So these are suspending. This one should be as well. Doesn't say suspending, sinking or floating. I'm assuming floating then. It's kind of like the, the generic version. Got like these bright mirror decals on here. So that's gonna flash a lot. So in bright light situations, this is gonna be perfect. You got the blue up top, translucent body, orange on bottom, and you get the tied rear treble. I love this variation for jerk baits. It's a smaller size jerkbait as well, and you get the two trebles on there. So if I'm downsizing jerkbaits or I wanna throw something different, this is something that I've had a lot of luck on, either in like these brighter colors when the sun's up, or if I gotta throw natural patterns, I've got some in the like uh, the Gillikin or the 4K Gill, great options. And then I've got just some regular shad patterns as well for like a standard day, maybe a little overcast, does well. Okay, I think I got through all the hard baits. Before we hit the plastics, I do have one more bait that I wanna throw out here. So I do actually have a ton of these. I don't have this color. So this color is called Frogville, and this is the Vega Frog. Actually, I might have this color. Another giveaway, I'll throw this right in the giveaway for you guys. So three out of 21 were kind of duplicates, but that's okay. Like I do buy a lot of six cents stuff, so check this out. Skirt's a, a little funky right now, but it'll work out in the water, it'll be fine. And I, I would probably trim this anyways. But the Vega is a great Vega, 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 Vega. We're going Vega. The Vega frog, it's a poppin' frog, long, skinny body. I find that to be quite a bit different from most of the frogs that I fish. I like that idea as well. This does get through cover pretty well, it does spit water. I mean, it's kind of a recessed mouth there, of course, but it gets through the stuff and very plush body. That is what I like to see in a frog, very plush body. Nice, very sharp, very stout hooks. They've got this little like counterbalance weight stuff back here. They glued up the hole so it doesn't, you know, take on water like the Titanic. Great frog. Like I said, I've got like four or five of these. So I'll throw this in the giveaways for the future. We do our giveaways on the podcast, by the way. I know I've been saying give away this, give away that. Um, we do them on the podcast because the internet is a terrible place where terrible people live and you can't, <laughs> you can't do them just in the comments anymore. It's not, it's not possible. There we go for one of you folks. Finally, we got some plastics. Now, technically this is a plastic and it's a freaking two pack. Look, they just stapled a second one there. I love that. So this is the sweep. 
I only have one other version of this that's like a shad color. I love this color. Look at this. This is something I would throw right this second. So this is Cajun Gill. It's a bluegill pattern, a little bit of red. I think I can get this bit. Now this is a, a nice, unique uh, swim bait. You've got this boot tail as well as the pectoral fins on it. So it has a really good balance. And that way you're getting a little bit of this movement, but you're getting a lot of action on that tail and not as much rolling because of the pectoral fins. This of course is something you're throwing on like a seven knot hook. Uh, maybe like a, I've got a bunch of like owner beast hooks, which would be fantastic for this, but look at that. You get awesome eyes on there. Great colorway. They do a really good job with these. Boot tail, not super wide. Okay, but you're gonna get a lot of this crazy kick in action back here. Get some good balance from this rear fin, okay, your dorsal, and then look at the, that's what I'm talking about, these pectoral fins right here. Gives a really good balance. Obviously you got big space here because you're using big hooks, and then you've got your hook hiding section there. We can kind of see with the light, there you go. So that's where you're gonna stuff your hook so you can go weedless. This is great, I might fish this today. I'm gonna go out, try and fish all swim baits, all glide baits. Don't have a ton of like plastics in the larger size that I can use, but this will go right up there. Maybe it's something I rig up and use today. I'm excited about it. Next one is uh, it's a whale baby sungill. You guys haven't fished these. Pretty nice. I mean, something again you can throw on like just a, a jig hook, a weedless hook. You can add it as a trailer on any of your baits. These are pretty cool. I honestly don't use them that much. Sick looking bait. Look at that. So you get that wider boot tail to it. Tons of kick in action. You see all this like skinny tail section here. So that's gonna have a lot of movement, right? Again, pectoral fin, so it's well balanced. Big hook section up here. So you can have that flat portion as well. Use your screw locks, holds up really well. Decently durable plastic. You'd have fun with it. I have a, a color very close to this. So we're gonna go ahead and retract the statement again. Four out of 21 were a duplicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the big bin as well. And if you want it, you gotta go to the podcast. Okay, last thing I am pumped about because I have zero of these. So this is the Juggle Minnow 4.0. If you guys haven't seen the Juggle, it's a really cool finesse swim bait. And this is an exclusive color, which is very similar to the previous color, that little sunfish burst, right? But we've got some flake to it, some green, some orange, darker green up top. Look at lots of, lots of flash up there and then like a brown body to it. I think I like this for like the stained water I'm fishing. This could be a perfect trailer for your smaller swim jigs. Also could be a fantastic drop shot. Like look at this tail. So from here back, so much action there, but a nice durable front rigging section. You could also just finesse swim bait this around. Like there's so much you could do with this. I'm pumped because I don't have any yet. I know Paul has like maybe three or four colors of this. It's a good bait. I like it, I'm excited to use it. Oh my gosh, one of them like got lost in my stuff back there. I didn't even notice. I have one more crankbait and uh, I wanna say it's not a duplicate. I definitely have baits like this. So this was another unlabeled, right? So it could be a unique color. I think it is. It's got like some gold, maybe bronze in there. Look at that. So it's that like crazy orange and red craw pattern. We've got, uh, this is a nine foot dive. I'm gonna go, I'm guessing here. This is the nine foot. I think this is a nine foot diving finesse crankbait. Love these, got, I don't know, four or five of them uh, from black magic to bone to, I think I have a shad pattern. I definitely have a craw pattern, but definitely not this one. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love that. I could see using it this fall, definitely in the spring. Uh, when spring comes around, I'll be throwing this a lot. Nice, so a little extra one, so 22 baits. So four for 22 were duplicates. Let's like recap real quick. Four for 22 duplicates, only three plastics in this entire batch. One hard bait that was the draw, another that was the trace. These are like high dollar value baits. So for 99 bucks, I got 22 baits, three of which were just plastics. One of those plastics was actually a swim bait. That's pretty nice. Winning? Like that's winning, right? Like I think we did good. Also out of this, I threw like four things into our giveaway tub. So come to the podcast. Again, it's called Aggressively Average Anglers. The biggest deal with that podcast is like, if you come to it live, it's gonna be a blast. And if you subscribe to it anywhere you listen to podcasts, that does us such a huge favor, really helps us grow the show. That way we can appear higher up on like Apple and Spotify's playlist and all that stuff. So 
do us that favor. Even if you're going to it live, just go subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts. Drop us a five-star review if you can. We're just kicking this thing off. Help us grow it. Be a part of the community of aggressively average anglers. Let's have fun with this. And then as we grow, we're going to be able to get better guests in here to teach us all about things like I don't know, glide baits, swim baits. Maybe we can, maybe I can get tactical bass on. I don't know, hint, hint, let's make this happen. But the show's all about you guys. Like it's about us as anglers trying to get better. And if you missed our first episode, then just come back this coming Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there. It's gonna be a blast and we'll talk to you in chat. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you today. Go get the garage sale sack if it's still available. If not, come to the lives. I'll give you some of the baits anyways. <laughs> but hopefully this video was good for you. Uh, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring the notification bell, all that cool stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Yay!